Okay, here we are. We're gonna have a have a woman's master single match. Um, both of these are, are veteran, really good regional women's players from uh, this area. Bon uh, Bonnie Arnold uh, been one of the better regional players for a good many years, and Pam Patton who originally, uh, about 20-some years ago, I remember seeing that she had uh, pro tour aspirations, and uh, she has plenty of game, too. This is going to be a race to five, alternating breaks. Uh, Bonnie Arnold uh, won the toss or the lag in, uh, and is breaking the balls to start the match, and... This is uh, BCA Pool League's uh, rules where the eight ball does not count when the break. Uh, the breaker has her option to, uh, to spot the eight ball and continue her turn at the table or re-rack and re-break without any penalty. Uh, we have... Uh, the eight on the break does not win, like I said. It just spots, and uh, and with a scratch on the break, it's ball in hand anywhere, which which might differ from a lot of folks that have local rules that say something different. But here we go, race to five. It ought to be a good one. I'm George Hammerbacher, Baltimore, Maryland, uh, advanced level instructor, PBIA. And uh, very, very grateful to be out here at this great event. Over 500 players uh, came in this weekend to see and play all sorts of different teams in d different divisions. Okay, well, well, Bonnie broke dry, and the stripes look probably a whole lot more more appetizing, but. But the good thing about the stripes is is that that there's a ball that sets up on all three of those solids up table. That's actually the nine ball. And Pam is right on it. Her difficult shot is probably going to be the 13. Oh, that one might have crept in behind the one ball a little bit. Might have made a position error. I can give you the best of what I have. I have an excellent vantage point of the table and 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 our our, our screen and video is just courtesy of CSI and just a tremendous uh, feed and setup. Well, Pam struck out on her kick at the uh, 15 ball, and Bonnie has ball in hand. The five ball on the side probably looks like what you want, might want to do, because that five is doesn't really play anywhere else. If she can get her cue ball to a good shot on the five in the side like this, these balls ought to be fairly routine for a, a top regional lady player such as herself. She's in excellent position now, and she's going to... The seven ball is a ball that she'll probably shoot next. She might try to draw and split the, uh, the six and the two, those two balls that are, are just follow into them, actually. Ideal shot.
the one and eight baller near the to the right hand top cushion. She might be using the two ball to go to the one right now. But she's kind of reaching over the six, so she might shoot the six first. Or try to get to the one this. That's going to be a good shot. That'll play nice. A little bit. She has to reach across herself a little bit here. Yeah, a little. That kind of around that three ball. She pours it in nicely. I like her. She's looking to come back to nearly straight on the one with a little angle towards the, the other side rail. Let's see how his speed control is his first game. Crushed it. She's going to probably have to come around three rails or follow the ball with lots of high right. She might be just drawing it back too, which probably is easier for her. Pretty Pretty decided. Good, good shooting there. Eight ball looks frozen on the cushion. Makes the shot probably play a little easier. Oh, she caught a little ball but sent it on in. And uh, Bonnie Arnold takes a 1 0 lead over Pam Patton in this uh, race to five in the women's Masters singles division. We're here at the beautiful Potawatomi Hotel and Casino, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the official host of the 2015 BCA Pool League's Wisconsin State Championships. And uh, this place is, the hotel is just fabulous, so plush, and uh, a terrific venue. We're in an event center with 40 diamond tables. Simonis 860 cloth, ideal playing conditions. Cyclops balls, you, that's why the balls are, the six and seven are different colors. Okay, Pam pocketed a stripe on her break and has her option whether she chooses to play the highs or the lows. greatest position here. She might have to come two rails between the one and five. Oh, she caught, caught a ball and she might have to jump, jump this. The one ball's got her, I believe. I don't think she has anything other than a kick shot off her side rail to the 11. Gonna go two rails into the 11, I think. She did, but she sold out pretty much. That one skidded on her a little bit, I think. A little tight still. She ran out nice and let her stroke out, but missed a very uncharacteristic ball based on what we saw. All right, Pam has an unexpected turn at the table. And she's 
in kind of a spot because that that 9-11 are kind of nasty. And, and, and the 15 is behind the 8, sort of. If you play to that combination, had some outstanding inside English on that ball. Really turned it good against the grain. Now, she has to be able to control that head ball. little bit. Uh, it looked like it went over and froze on the cushion. Okay. Uh, she might have might have a bank at it. I'm not sure. Well, she was there. She made it. That's for sure. She was right on the 15. Bonnie has some work to do, but she's got some hangers there. She's got the four, the six, the five, all hanging over the hole as far as a ducker. Nice, nice two rail move. She'll probably use the six for her last ball before the eight. That would make sense to me because because the six sets up to the eight in that open pocket to your bottom left of the screen. Two in the side is ideal. Two to the one. She's a little wrong on the ball. She's headed up table against the grain. Headed Headed a little bit to the right of the first diamond on the short rail, it seems. And then she's going to have to twist it back. She's going to probably have to play play this shot with a lot of high, high, high. Inside or right English. Uh, uh, she's kind of straight on this ball. Little. She's. She might, might have to play this backwards. Because the eight is, is in a tenuous position. All the way to the rail. That looks like it's ideal, but good position on the th one to the three. But she's got got to play a real, real high grade shot from the three to the eight. This is strictly a speed control shot. She's going to draw her ball back to the cushion with low right hand draw. Have to spin it real good. She's trying to go between right towards her cue stick. Too far. She's hooked. Very tough shot. Very tough. She does have the outside look at this eight. She might go by the corner pocket nonetheless, but risks the scratch. The rules of this are if Bonnie shoots the eight, makes it, and scratches, she loses automatically. If she shoots, doesn't pocket the eight and scratch, Pam would strictly have ball in hand. Depending on what league you play on and what your rules are, eight ball is got a few different rules. They're playing by what they call world standardized rules with some BCA pool leagues plays. Very, very close to the world standardized. 
I think she can make it in the corner. So I'll come to the side, the side point. Try to cut it in the side. Left it, left it reasonably. Nine in the side. This is an all or nothing shot for Pam in this game because if she misses this, chances are the eight ball will be easy pickings for Bonnie. She struck it with authority. Now a little high left center ball. To kill it to two, two reels to the middle of the table. Perfect. Looks like barring the, an earthquake, we're going to see one to one. One to one it is. Most of these ladies are very, I'm sure they've met many times uh, playing in, in state and regional events and independent events. These are two of your better lady players. Pam has been at the, at the top of the heap in Wisconsin for a long, long time. She was uh, definitely pro tour ready. 20, 20 years ago, even she was still real young. Not that she's a zillion years old now, but she can flat out play. Has all the shots. Okay, these balls are rugged. The, the stripes look like a, a much better. Uh, selection. I like her 14 to the 15 to get her started. That's that's even better. She she got rid of a, a fairly troubled ball. That was allowed. The very first shot on an open table. Individuals are allowed to play combinations hitting the other group of balls first. Can't hit the eight first ever on a combination. That one's going to land her in the quicksand. I don't think she has a, a clear look at any ball. She made a good hit on the 10, but a nine going in, she didn't call, so Bonnie is back at the table. I sort of like her two ball, past the eight. In fact, that's probably your only shot. So that wasn't rocket science. Might be playing the one. Two doesn't go, but the, the seven is is a good shot, but uh, the two might cover up the four ball. 
I like her playing and cutting the five into the into this this strike ball. A five. No, that's her ball. She she has to play the play the seven ball. I think. I think the two goes. This is an awkward stance for her because she's left-handed. Her trouble is the tray ball, which is way up table where the, the ten's hanging over the hole. See what she does here. Oh, she came out nice. I got her back in this tray ball and uh, coming back up table. This she she can fall right on that five and be out. Yeah, she has pointed the corner pocket. Let's see how good the lady's bank in the day. Ah, she chunked it. Ten might not go past the three unless it's extremely overcut. Bam's looking at it. Her other shot is a tough shot down the rail on the 14. Let's go because she's shooting it. Careful. Oh, but Bonnie did good when she at least got the three covering that hole for those two stripes. Cells out there. Uh oh. Ooh. That was a close one. I don't know if the four passes the deuce. doesn't look like it banks so from there that's real tight she may these are only about four and five eighths inch pockets these aren't big bar table pockets these tables weren't built to bend quarters okay she's got a real sweeping angle here I don't know if she can get two cushions back to the five in the same pocket or draw her ball. She might play safe here. If she's on the 50 yard line. Lots of high right hand ball to, to cut. She might be playing. Yeah, she's got to come around one, two cushions to the five ball in the same hole. She thinks she's going to get to the uh, second diamond past the side. I don't know about this. She might be trying to draw it over there, too. Nah. That was just too big an angle. Good news is, is that she might have an option or two here safety-wise. Gonna, 
going to play the five cross corner on the bank. Here we go. Oh, that was just tasty. Uh, that was that was a Jonah Ark looking shot she hit on that ball. I'm gonna probably try to cut it in up into uh, the lower right on your screen. She's still going to need some left-hand ball to send a cue ball out around that offending 13. Hard to tell from any vantage point. I can't see quite what the player sees. sell out that's too bad she sure hit a lion hearted shot when that five ball bank but it all was all for naught she'll probably fall draw it and come back about little ways <coughs> little high high right ball to Yate in the side pocket where she's standing right there Pam Patton takes a two to one lead over Bonnie Arnold and this woman's master's eight ball race to five. Let's alternate break. That's what they're talking. It's your break, she said. Pam breaks on all the e all the even numbered games. This is game number four. sure these ladies have locked horns many, many, many times. I hear the shriek of the mutilated in quadrant one. <laughs> A stick banging on the table, or on the table on the floor. As Jimi Hendrix used to call it, the cry of love. Okay, let's see. See if, if Pam can break these balls and get a layout. Well, that's one of the, the things about hitting those balls on the side. Your cue ball seems to get down low a lot, and you're always looking up table, and there's no, no market other than possibly the six ball which is that ball on, on to the left of the 15. That's the only ball conceivably might go. She might be playing this, this 10 ball carom off the nine. That's what I think she's going to try to do. And just got to hit a thin piece of the nine. I never hit it. Okay, well, Bonnie Arnold still has her choice. This is considered what they call an open table, which means that uh, Bonnie would be allowed to play a combination now. 
one mixed group of balls if she chooses to. The only thing she couldn't do was hit the eight first, but anything else is good. The eight can be part of it as long as it isn't first. The solids might be more attractive to her. And here the cue, or cue ball fouls only are, are what they're playing. Let's see what her shot looks like on the seven. That looks pretty good. We got great camera work here, uh, Stephen. Uh, when the when the com here is, uh, I met him three years ago at, on the Action Pool Tour. I'm the voice of the Action Pool Tour through Maryland and Virginia, and still uh, connected with Ozzy and. Uh, Coming out here has been a real joy and a real, real treat and an honor for me. Okay, well, it looks like looks like uh, Pam is got got a routine looking layout. This table might be playing a little faster because there are more lights on this table than are on the, oh, that's a, it's unusual miss for uh, Pam out in the open like that. She's usually very, very efficient. Well, Bonnie has some work to do. She's jacked up over this ball to shoot the one. She doesn't have a full service array at her arsenal. Nope. Gave it right back. Perfect. She might have an angle too much towards that four ball to follow it. She might have to play the 13 with a lot of, from a different side. Still a little wrong on that ball it looks. She might have to play the nine. Or she's got to play the 13 to the short side and draw it past the four. That's okay, too. That's a good natural angle to come back and get on the 13 ball, go past it. She didn't. So she's going to have some contact with the five. Unless she can draw it around the five. She did. She's got all the shots. Nothing but net. Pam Patton three. Bonnie Arnold one. Over 500 players have... Uh, Come here this this uh, weekend, last weekend in February, to participate in this Wisconsin State Championships 2015 version, the BCA Pool Leagues, and we're at Potawatomi, 
casino and hotel in downtown Milwaukee, a totally beautiful venue in their event center. A lot of people are in here competing, having a good time. Team competition will start a little later this weekend. The individuals are, are or what they call the singles is starting to wind down. That's a real solid hit break there. She caught those balls good. Made two stripes. And a solid. Although that's a good thing. She's, she's gonna have to go with the solids because that's the ball she can make. Bonnie might be a little straighter on this ball. She might be trying to draw it to the two. Oh, she, she's not getting too many good rolls here. She had a couple opportunities, but she's got a couple bad rolls too. Tough, tough shot on the four. Tough shot. It's uncertain whether the 15 passes the five or three. That's what that's what Pam was looking at there. I do know that she'll probably shoot the 10 and 13 is tough for her too. She's gonna probably try to get the side pocket if she can. Oh, from the shot she played, this ball might play. Breaks out the eight, but I don't know if, what, her, what her market is on the 12. Must be good. Calling for a hit. That's a close hit. No. 
No doubt that was a good hit. That was a legitimate shot. She has to fall correctly on the five, and there should be no problem. Kind of bunted. That wasn't, that wasn't that good. The bunt sign was on. Speed to just reach the ball. Too hard. She's going to get lucky. And she's get, This is getting worse. It isn't getting better. Probably a double kiss on the three. Nah, she, she, she was out of line. Not good. I sort of like, sort of like Pam coming off the right edge of that, that 13 ball and parking up in the top right hand corner of your screen with the cue ball. Let the eight cover up the tray ball. It didn't, she didn't get there. So Bonnie scratches another shot out of uh, Pam, but she better, better get busy. Because she's got a little off angle. Oh, elevating from here, I don't like it. Usually ball scoot on you. Like that. Oh well. Yeah, she can only say she had two shots that game to win and didn't win. That's a 3-2 game would have been a nice match. But now it's the results are looking difficult and inevitable. Four games to one, Pan Patton. Bonnie started out hitting them good their first game, and then she's made some made some mistakes. Pam had a couple position errors. But that was, uh, she had two bona fide outs and failed to, I don't ever like elevating the cue from that distance. Just don't care for that break from the side because in, invariably cue ball stays down low and you're looking up table. Pocket balls is one thing, but getting the shot after your break is equally important. Nine ball looks apparent to me. It's near frozen going on a cushion. Thirteen on the side might be a little more attractive. Trying to hit the 10 and break a 10 off of the uh, 
off, off the six ball. Thirteen in the side, but now she's going to get the eight ball moving. Eight's going in. That's a loss for Pam. It's four games to two. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I could see that one coming. It's real easy to see it from the booth. Having done it about 16 million times myself over 50, 53 years of being a player. <laughs> Pam is just laughing. All she can do is laugh. <laughs> Four games to two. This is a big break now for uh, Bonnie. If she can put a good break and run out or something, she'll she'll put a little a little edge in Pam's giddy up. Pam's on the hill though, so she's gonna have to. She's she's fresh out of making any more mistakes. Something fell off. It's like, it's like the six ball found the darkness. But in these rules, uh, Bonnie has her choice as to highs or lows. Thirteen ball looks like it's apparent since it's probably the only ball she can make other than maybe the 15 in the side or the 14. Here she's got to pick the tip up quickly so it doesn't get trapped. Good shot, but she made, ran into a ball and semi in the quicksand. That 11 ball is, or 12 balls in tough and she's straight in on the 15. Nine's hanging over the lip of the side. She's going to play for the uh, 14 in the other pocket. That was, uh, that wasn't good, I don't think. I don't think that's what she had in mind. Only has half a pocket for that 15 ball past the 11. She can't see the 11 to make it. Let's see. Looks like she's, she's, she's eyeing up a uh, nine ball on the side combo off of uh, the 15 ball. She's going to jack up and kind of draw the ball too, I think. Nice hit. This is this bank looks kind of natural for her. She might have a cut too. The cut's very thin, and she's going to lose her cue ball. The bank, on the other hand, is a natural for her because she's left-handed. 
right-hander would have to shoot that with the bridge. She looks like she's banking it with some flints and inside English. No, oh, cut it. That was pretty good, actually. But her 14 ball doesn't, maybe doesn't play past the four. And then the 12 is totally locked up. She's going to jack up, play, play her low right ball, and try to come in at a 12 ball, I think. Ah, she caught the tray going through there, and she hit that ball real good. She hit that ball real good, but she might have struck it. Oh, that was here also. There are only, there are no, only cue ball fouls, not object ball fouls. This is a good, if she can cut this, this uh, 14 past the four ball with uh, lots and lots of high left, she can skitter into that 12 and free it. That's a good natural angle off of that shot. But she's got to reach across herself or get the rake for goodness sake. See if she can play a lot of high left ball and cut this 14 very sharply past the four ball, if that's what she's going to try to do. That's, I don't think she's using the correct English. She should go come in front of this ball. Yeah. Well, she didn't hurt herself with that particularly. No, she did not. She did not hurt herself. I half like her playing the playing this carom and uh, and calling the fifth the fourteen ball off the inside of the twelve, as I think it lays right into it. Trouble is, is controlling the 12 ball. You got to hit this soft to keep the 12 ball around that pocket. Very tough shot. Plus, the 14 isn't totally on, as we say. It must be thrown slightly. See what she does. Her angle looks real good to play. That, that 14 might go. That was the one I thought she was going to call because that shot was a lot easier than the 12 ball was. Uh, Pam has wide open array of shots here. <coughs> Looks like the five to the two, three ball is going to be the last ball before the eight probably. Going to roll up to the two with, with e even position on the one if, if she run, went too far or too, too short. Now she's drawing it back. She's I don't know if the warden's taking phone calls from here. It, look like, it looks like the condemned woman ate a hearty meal.
straight draw back to uh, probably uh, her, she's going to might be going forward off the side rail. That's that's also very presentable. Na natural half ball shot at about 30 degrees to come out to the gate in the same pocket. Pure. She's a good player. Pam Patton takes this match down by the score of five games to two. A terrific uh, player she is. Uh, probable odds win favorite to win this woman's Masters single division.